Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on Linux kernel uh, TCP header uh, data structure, which is uh, struct TCP header data structure. And in my previous episode, I just uh, discussed about uh, the introduction of this data structure. And I just showed you uh, a sort of kernel source code walk of the existing kernel source code and uh, you know various instances uh, at which this uh, data structure you know uh, appears and uh, you know the way each of its uh, member variables are used and things like that and in this episode I'm going to discuss uh, and I'm going to show you a, a example code which I have written myself and uh, which is a code where in which it parses each incoming uh, packet and if it is an IPv4 TCP packet it is going to show its uh, source port, destination port and things like that once the packet is passed with respect to the TCP header. So this is my uh, sample guys uh, which I have written in uh, you know, uh, net ipv4 uh, ip underscore input dot c in this API and uh, in case if you have uh, seen my earlier videos on uh, you know skb data structure series and uh, you know the UDP header and uh, you know things like that you must have uh, noticed uh, this uh, particular code has been built uh, you know time to time with respect to various uh, data structures which I have discussed. Initially, I had a bare, uh, very limited code, uh, you know, to show the uh, kind of example code of uh, SKB data structure, and then followed by I have uh, extended it uh, to show a demo of uh, IP header uh, data structure, and then uh, you know I have extended further to show a kind of demo on uh, UDP header uh, data structure, and now uh, I'm just uh, extended. Uh, so that I can show a demo of uh, you know TCP header data structure uh, you know by printing its uh, source port and destination port, and you know this uh, specific sample code I have directly inserted in this uh, API, and uh, you know effectively what happens is each incoming packet uh, it is going to you know parse, and if it is an IPv4 packet it is going to print its uh, receiving port name, and uh, you know it is going to branch out it is uh, you know uh, parsing this IP header. And it is going to branch out uh, with this uh, switch case statement. If it is TCP, you know this part is executed, and uh, you know if it is UDP, then this part is executed, and things like that. And uh, it is going to print uh, what is its uh, you know respective IP protocol. If it is TCP, UDP, ICMP, and things like that, and it is going to print uh, you know its uh, IP protocol. Uh, uh, source IP and destination IP and things like that asset. So uh, this is the overall code guys and uh, you know in case uh, you have not uh, seen my earlier videos uh, you know I suggest you uh, to watch uh, SKB data structure series. You can start with uh, SKB data structure and uh, you know you can follow uh, followed after that you can start uh, you know net device uh, data structure and then uh, you can uh, watch uh, IP header data structure and then you know TCP or uh, UDP data structure uh, series as well. So I just organized in the form of uh, playlist guys so that you can just uh, select whichever playlist you want as well. So you know once you select this SKB data structure it is going to show you all the videos uh, you know of this uh, playlist and uh, things like that. You have the TCP header, UDP header, IP header and, uh, and so on as well. So, now uh, I just uh, time to time uh, extended uh, this uh, sample code so that is why you find a, a sort of a you know a really big source code as such by this time as such. So in this uh, what I have done is I am parsing uh, you know I am uh, uh, getting the pointer of uh, TCP header uh, which is actually you know extracted from SKB data, data bytes you know this may start from uh, IP header in this context you know which is uh, inside the IPv4 stack and if you go out of this IPv4 stack somewhere near uh, you know uh, somewhere inside the net core uh, you know dev.c or something a context like this uh, you know this SKB data may start uh, from uh, you know uh, ethernet header or any kind of data link layer header as such. So, Anyway, irrespective of the you know location of SKB data, you know this API is going to give you the exact pointer location from where the transport header, in this case, you know the TCP header starts as such. So, effectively, you are getting that uh, you know pointer, and uh, you know this is a struct TCP header data type, so it is it's a pointer of uh, you know this struct as such. So, from this uh, you know we can print uh, that uh, TCP header source port, TCP header destination port, and things like that. 
and uh, to make it uh, compliant to this system uh, you know we can use uh, we need to use this as such so we need to use this api network to host short in these two cases yeah you can just uh, do it once and you can store it in a temporary variable and things like that in this example also but i just want to stick with this so that it looks uh, you know as simple as possible to understand and uh, i'm just printing this in this uh, format uh, specifier which is uh, percentage hu and this is uh, meant for any you know 16 bit uh, data type as so you know uh, this uh, source port and destination port as you can understand is 16 bytes each uh, uh, sorry 16 bits each uh, and which correspond to two byte uh, of you know allocation for each uh, you know field asset so this is the format specifier you can use since it is unsigned and it is short as so and followed by which i'm uh, just doing further parsing in case uh, if the source port is uh, you know uh, port 80 and if the so destination port is uh, port 80 if either source port is 80 or destination port is 80 i'm just printing uh, it can, it may be a http packet and uh, you know further i just want to show a sort of example so that's why i'm just you know writing uh, you know multiple ways you can understand a packet which is uh, either getting received or either getting transmitted as so in your case in case if you are writing your own code you know you can waste uh, you can use uh, in various ways as i'm uh, showing to you as such so in another case uh, if it is an http or ssl packet you know you can just uh, do this uh, whereas uh, if it's incoming uh, source port or uh, i mean it's source port or destination port is uh, 443 you know i'm just printing that uh, it can be a https or ssl packet so this is the overall code guys and uh, i hope i i just uh, told in my various videos that i am not a big fan of uh, uh, writing kernel modules so i effectively wrote this entire code uh, inside the kernel source and uh, i have uh, compiled the entire kernel as uh, somehow i am not a fan of writing kernel module guys uh, uh, because if you write a kernel module you need to you know write all the registration code and you know module kernel module specific code and you need to write uh, net filter hooks and things like that and then followed by you can insert uh, your own code as such. Um, you know after uh, writing this code i just uh, compiled it and then i have installed this kernel and i have rebooted in this kernel and uh, you know currently it is uh, you know booted in this uh, kernel with this uh, you know code inserted as such. so we can just uh, you know uh, track the kernel uh, var log messages guys tail minus f where log kernel log and in the case of ubuntu it is uh, you know kern dot log in in case if you are using fedora or some other uh, distribution uh, you know you can find them in, uh, in you know where log uh, messages uh, uh, file as so you know once you do this as you can understand you know since we have also this uh, udp code it is showing uh, you know the udp part and you know it is a sort of ongoing uh, process like almost uh, you are using some sort of wireshark uh, packet capture or something like that so, so as long as it is receiving and transmitting any packets it is showing those packets and uh, you know as you can understand since i opened this uh, youtube uh, page you know it is communicating these handshake uh, ssl packets and also things like that so, so you know uh, let me just stop this cap capture you know you can find uh, you know as you can see it is printing this uh, you know tcp packet with this uh, source port as 443 and uh, you know in in our code since uh, we are uh, checking if it is either source is 443 or destination is uh, source port uh, 443 we are printing this as uh, you know https or ssl packet as so that's what is happening over here guys and uh, in case if it is port 80 you know we are just printing it can be an http packet and i need to say it can be a http packet uh, as you can understand it all depends on your socket core or you know networking uh, apps as such so you can write any other uh, you know ftp pro ftp uh, server to run on port 80 or things like that i mean it is just uh, we are not uh, limited to using any sort of ports as such. so but as a standard port 80 is a http uh, port uh, http packet so that's why you know i can just uh, print you know this packet could be an http packet as well. so things like that so there you can uh, you know uh, check you know a couple of more examples let me just uh, you know open uh, any other sample website you know and 
by the time it opens uh, you can see you know it's a uh, packet cluster so you know you can see all this uh, https packets uh, the kernel.org is uh, actually it's a https uh, protocol which is using us so so that is why it is showing these https uh, packets guys so this is a very good example guys uh, in a way you can uh, just use uh, this api tcp underscore header and uh, get its uh, respective pointer also. so and uh, you know you can just uh, further uh, parse the contents uh, in this way as such so that's all folks for this episode i hope you liked uh, watching this video please do subscribe to this channel and please share it across with your friends and colleagues uh, you know thanks once again for watching this video guys so thank you have a nice day